What's up guys, John Howell here. Listen, I just wanted to do this quick short video. I've been typing on a video to, to one of the, the guys on um, uh, on, uh, on on YouTube and I just wanted this quick video for DVL Zazzy. DVL Zazzy, <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce your name. Uh, listen, uh, I wanted this video. He's been gone through a hard time. He's gone through a breakup right now and he said, it seems too difficult to keep myself relaxed, pacing, nervous and angry. Okay. The first thing I must say is this, is that this is normal to go through. Uh, I myself am also going through a breakup myself as well too. Uh, if you didn't realize from the th from the video I did before is that that's what I'm going through as well too. I was with a partner for a couple of years. Uh, two years I was with her and I fell totally in love with her and I'm going through a breakup myself as well too. So I'm speaking to you from a person who's coming from that. I've went through a divorce as well too of eight years. So I'm coming to you from a person who's, who's, who's going through it and has been through it as well too. Now... Um, I'm going to call you D, right? I'm going to call you D because D-L-V, Zazzy, <laughs> I'm going to call you D. All right, um, so this makes it easier. D, this is what I found that's helped me. One, one, what you need to do is yes, you need to go to the gym and you need to let it, everything out. Go to the gym and let everything out that you have that's on your mind. Just let it out, let it out, let it out, let it out. Um, and, uh, and secondly, you need to heal... You, us men, we want to, we want to, we want to hide our emotions. In times like this, you got to feel it to heal it. You got to feel it to heal it. So let it go, let it go, let it go. You know, let it flow through you. And it may take a, it may take a while for you for you to to fully let it go. But you got to feel it to heal it. So if you feel like crying and screaming and stuff like that, just let it go. You know, like I do it sometimes myself. I'm totally honest with you. You know, like I'm going through a breakup, you know, and last night I was in bed just in, you know, a bucket of tears. Even this morning when I did my meditation, I was in a bucket of tears. But I'm feeling it and I'm, I'm allowing it to flow. I'm, I'm feeling it and I'm healing it. Don't try to suppress it. Let it go. Scream, yell, say, fuck this shit. And you need to do that. Then what you need to do is you need to say, what did I do? And you need to be honest with them. What did I do to cause this situation? Because you can't change it. But we only can learn from it. And then from that, you need to say, right, what do I need to do to get my life back on track now? Where, where have I been really slipping? Is it my health and fitness? Is it my true happiness? Is it my gratification? All these different places. And that's how you truly move forward in life. Now, again, it's not going to take, it's not going to happen overnight. But, you know, what you need to do, D, is that, and what I'm doing even myself with this day is that I'm getting myself focused, refocused back on my business. I'm so excited now. I'm moving new houses as well too. I'm doing a lot of stuff, but what I'm doing is I'm giving myself, you know, I'm giving myself some time out as well too. So like, for example, I used to check Facebook all the time and see what my partner was doing. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just like, I don't want Facebook in my, in my life anymore. So I'm just like, I'm off Facebook for the whole week, you know? Um, and so you, you, and you've got, you've got to be strong and this is what, this is what actually makes you strong. So, you know, and what's, in, what's important there is that you, you just continue to work on yourself every single day. But again, you need to feel it to heal it. And if you, if you want to go for a run and just scream as loud as you can, say, fuck this shit, and just let it all out. If you want to scream, cry, punch a punching bag, do whatever you have to do to physically let it out. Because you're a guy, right? Physically let it out. That's what I have to do. When I'm in the gym this morning, I did like, you know, 35, 40 minutes and 500 calories on the treadmill because I'm letting it out, you know? Um... And then, and then what you want to do, again, you want to allow the emotions to go through you. Be grateful. Like this morning, I was got, I said five minutes of gratefulness and I couldn't just stop, I couldn't stop by, by thinking about my ex-partner because um, I do love her dearly, but I know that it's done and I know that I'm moving on from that and I know that I'm going on to something bigger and better, but I've got to feel it to heal it. And I, and I, and I keep saying to myself, I know in a year's time, this is going to be different. I'll give you an example, D. Um, many years ago, about, yeah, Many years ago, I went through a divorce and I was so upset because eight years and my kids and stuff like that, and then she took my kids and I couldn't see them. So anyway, I, I was just like, I was so distraught and stuff like that. So anyway, what happened was this. If you want any chance of getting back with your wife, this is what you need to do. One, you must not contact her. You must say to her this, I love you, I adore you, and I want to do whatever I can to work on this. And I want to, I, and I want to work. I want to work on this together. But if you're not, if you're not willing to do that, that's okay. I'm out of you. That's gonna scare the shit out of you. But what you're doing is you're pulling yourself away from her, and she'll start to contact you again, right? She will start to contact you, especially if you've been with her for so long. She'll start to contact you again. But in that time, in that time, 
you need to you need to continue to work on yourself so you can become a much stronger, much 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 more better person. Makes sense. And so yes, you, you've 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 got to cut all ties. And as I was saying before with my ex-wife is that you know I did that and I cut all ties and I just started moving on with my life and I started getting better and I started feeling the healing. And with only th- with two or three months, uh, you know. Oh, obviously, I started moving on, and she came. And not only did she say, she said to me, "I don't want to be with you anymore." Many months later, she came back to me crying in front of my eyes, saying, "I miss you so much, and I want to be with you, and I'm so sorry, and all this sort of stuff." You know, so uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is that remove yourself from her, and then every day you need to feel it, to heal it, you need to work your ass off, you need to keep going like that, and allow these emotions to go through you. But then start to be able to say, "Okay, what have I done? What do I need to start working on my life and start working on that every single day?" And you'll start to see that. And it won't happen overnight, but, you know, but the whole thing is it will happen. You know what I mean? You just kind of keep going through on one, uh, each day as it comes. And that's what I'm going through right now as my, myself as well too. So, D, I hope this really helps you out, man. Keep strong. Stay strong. I know exactly what you're feeling. I'm feeling the same thing as well too. So, keep strong.